Hey, what's up you guys? Installing a trailer hitch on your Nissan Sentra can take you to some really fun places like camping and biking. You can even tow a U-Haul trailer anywhere in North America. Let's break down this install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. So our first step to installing this trailer hitch will be to remove the passenger side tow hook. There's only one tow hook on this vehicle and that's gonna be located right here. It is being held by four bolts that we'll be removing by using 18 millimeter socket. Two are located here and the other two are located here and here. Now we're gonna line up our hitch with our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. The hitch will be lined up with the weld nuts that are used for the tow hook. So using two of the four bolts from the original tow hook, we're going to loosely install these onto the hitch to hold in place. So on the driver's side, there are no weld nuts. We'll have to drill in our own holes with the half inch drill bit um, and place our own carriage bolts in. So in order to get the carriage bolts installed, we will need to use an access hole. As you can see, this hole right here does not allow for the carriage block to fit. We will need to enlarge it with a step bit. To be able to put the carriage bolts in place, we'll be using the fish wire technique. I'll show you how it's done. All right, to use the fish wire technique, we're gonna be using our coiled in and putting it through our furthest hole that we drilled, through our access hole. And we'll be pushing the plate through the coil and twist the bolt onto the coil all the way in. Then we'll remove the fish wire. With all our bolts in place, we'll be installing the provided conical tooth washer and nut. And always be sure to make sure that the teeth are connected to the hitch itself. So next we're going to be tightening and torquing our bolts to the manufacturer's specification, which can be found in the description below. Your carriage bolts are going to be a 11 16 socket, and your factory bolts are going to be an 18 millimeter socket. With our hitch installed, we pulled our vehicle onto level ground to show you some important measurements for your hitch accessories. This is a one and a quarter inch hitch receiver. From the pinhole to the end of the bumper is 3 inches. From the ground to the top of the receiver is 11 inches. This will help you determine length, rise, and drop for your hitch accessories such as a bike rack and cargo carrier. 
And that wraps up our install of our trailer hitch. Thank you for watching and have a great day. If you have any questions about the products seen in this video, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul hitch professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.